Hello everyone, today I will be talking about me and Omrecker's DMs. Later on in the DMs, he states, Also, these messages are not sent for an audience. They are meant to be private between you and I, especially given the criminal and legal side of things. Please respect that. There is some serious going down right now, even beyond the allegations. I want to make a couple points before I jump into the DMs. First off, you know you don't have to send these messages are not meant for an audience. That should just be a given when it comes to private DMs. But you had no problem leaking you and Delirious's DMs, and also the DMs between you and Keemstar. And Keemstar made an entire video explaining how scummy you were for leaking private DMs. You should just be more careful about what you send on the internet, and if you don't trust me to send these DMs in the first place, you shouldn't have sent it to me at all. You say some pretty rude things in here anyways, so I don't know how you expected me to keep this private, and all these DMs just make you look awful. So yeah, I'm gonna make a video about it, I will leak them online, and I will show people how desperate you are to get me to some somehow trust in what you are saying when you've been proven a liar. You've been proven to sit here and try your best to get the approval of others by making others look terribly bad. Plus, your DMs are like books, so it's really hard for me to understand most of this stuff, but I'm gonna try my best. Also, anyone watching this video, I am gonna have to blur and cover up parts of it. I just want to protect myself legally, so hopefully you guys can understand. But even the legal stuff he sends, I don't really think is true, because again, there's no evidence attached to these DMs. It's just him talking talking in these DMs. Here he says, I rehashed the same criticisms about Drama Alert as well, despite knowing the Louis accusers asked me to go to him and check back again later. Crow reported on it, and you saw the screenshot from Keem as well when he was guilt tripping him, and he kept pushing back about it. Yes, we all saw the DMs. You leaked the DMs between you and Keem. He got salty about it and went to Twitter, and I'm assuming you're gonna get salty me showing these DMs to everyone. Now don't get salty about it, because I would make you a hypocrite. You can sit here and say that I rehashed the same criticisms, but I'll rehash the same criticisms if they're valid to the argument I'm trying to make. Keemstar is terrible at drama alert, and it's pretty valid to bring that up every single time, because normally he's doing something terrible in drama alert. And me hashing the same criticism about you accepting it to go on drama alert, yeah, it's pretty relevant for me to bring it up. You said the Louis accusers asked you to go to him. Yeah, but you could have still said no. You said that Keem guilt tripped you. Yeah, but you're smart enough that you can say no. You're almost 40 years old, dude. Didn't you see that Keemstar was trying to guilt trip you in the first place? You could have still said no, but it's whatever. You also put, understand that there are vetted independent allegations from several undisclosed girls at this point, revealing Delirious as a predator, stating that Delirious was preying upon them when they were underage, grooming, and coaching, even pushing things like better cameras, tripods, and toys to aid the creation of what literally is that. All for multiple accusers who don't even know each other. Marcel and 4-0 knows one of the victims. He even confirmed it in a public tweet, but has lent her no assistance in getting validation, nor has he called out Delirious himself. The first part of this message, I just want to point out, you don't really have any evidence that you're showing me, and you haven't really been a trustworthy person so far, so I'm not really going to trust in what you're saying there. But if you come out with evidence, then I will believe it. But I'm assuming you don't have any evidence, just like how you don't have evidence to most of your claims anyways. And then also you include Marcel and 4 know this victim, and can be confirmed in a public tweet. Alright, then show me the tweet. Knowing that Marcel and 4 know one of the victims, and if we know that this specific victim came out to say what happened between her and Delirious, this would be a good start. But where's the tweet? And does the tweet actually show that they know each other? And does it show that Marcel and 4 know anything about what happened? I don't know. Probably not, because it's just a tweet. It's kind of hard to tell whether or not Marcel and 4 know anything about what this victim is saying that happened between her and Delirious. And I don't know what tweet you're talking about. Your fanboyism is blinding you. That's the reality. You ignore half or more of what you're told by me, and take their words as truth from day one. Right now, your lack of unbiased coverage is supporting predatory behavior and people that are trying to cover for that. Look, I called out Mini Lad. I called out Louie before this whole situation with you and the Vanos crew happened. And I said from day one that it's not okay what Delirious or Marcel did in that situation. I've made my statements, not afraid to rehash them at all. It's just I've made those statements and I will say again, Delirious and Marcel are wrong for what they did. I'm more supporting and covering those who have absolutely nothing to do with the situation but you're dragging them in. You're saying the entire Vanos group has a group chat where they share nudes. Where's the evidence to that? There is none. You said that Wildcat groomed children. Where's the proof of that? Because those tweets are pretty lacking. This is more what I'm covering every day, not just sitting here supporting Delirious, Louie, or Minnie, or anyone like that. I'm just covering what I have to cover, trying to be honest about my opinion, and moving on. But again, you probably won't get that. I'll probably have to re-explain that to you like 10 more times in DMs, if you ever DM me again. <sighs> The sketchy was right on your doorstep when they reached out to you to try to get you to take down content. I got asked by 
Wildcat to take down my video about you because he was trying to work things out with you. If you didn't really want to work out things with him, that's fine, but they were looking out to be able to potentially play with you again. And having somebody play with the group that recently just got called out is not good for business because people could go to their comment section saying, hey, I watched TJV's video, why are you playing with Ohm? And their video is now about their fun time playing to now drama, 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 which the group likes to avoid when it comes to their content. They just don't want my commentary content to blend over with theirs, and they wanted to settle whatever beef. Plus, my video about you, the video that Wildcat wanted me to take down, was not at all on the level of any pedophilia or anything like that. It was you sitting here having public beef with Terrorizer, and that's it. That's literally stuff that I don't mind taking down because y'all were just having a public beef, and that's all it was. There wasn't any serious allegations behind it, pretty much anything. I don't think that's something bad that you should be bringing up with Wildcat constantly, because if anything, Wildcat was trying to give you another chance and trying to look out for you at the time. So that's more points towards him and less points towards you because you're the one who pretty much screwed your chance on hanging out or playing with them again when they didn't mind trying to invite you back. You also sit here and point, I have yet to question Wildcat or Kelly on threats they were lying about on social media. I never threatened Wildcat or Kelly, nor did I send them something a few months ago. It was a legal letter from my attorney last summer. Um, if it's coming from your attorney, it's not completely out of the picture for them to say that they got something from you. Your attorney had their address, and there's not really much for me to question Wildcat or Kelly on at all. If I had questions, I would try to send them a DM, but I don't really have any questions. They haven't been the ones up. You haven't questioned Marcel about knowing one of the victims and why he's dismissing it. Um, I don't even know if he knows one of the victims. If you're talking about the victim where he sent a girl to Delirious in that Skype call, that stuff has already came out and has been confirmed, and he admitted to it. So did Delirious. But if you're talking about a different victim that he knows, I have no idea if he even knows a victim or not. This is news to me. You haven't cross-compared even the basic screenshots and dates from the Keem folder to Delirious's twit longer, or how he's conveniently deleting replies of his out of the screenshots he posted. Yeah, he deleted some screenshots. I don't know what they are, and I'm not going to assume that they're the worst, and I'm not going to assume that they're the best. And that's simply because I don't know what was there before, and you haven't really made any statements on what the replies would be. Plus, why do I need to cross-compare the dates from the Keem folder and Delirious's twit longer? Most of those tweets are from 2013. Delirious twit longer said that it happened that long ago. What do I need to cross-compare right now? Again, I have no idea. Drop your bias and start questioning both sides. All right, um, Wildcat, if you're watching this video, um, I have a question for you. How's your day going? Uh, that's literally the only question I got for Wildcat because literally there's nothing to sit here and accuse or question him on. Do you want me to ask him why he made those tweets back then? Oh wait, he already did answer that on his Twitter. Aw shucks. I guess there is no questions for him because it looks like he's pretty much explained what he needed to explain. You, Omrecker, on the other hand, have a lot more explaining to do. That's why you're being questioned so much. Or you're going to have to live with this as part of your history when more details start coming out. I am waiting for those details to come out and commentate on them. You are in the wrong here. Pretty bold statement. I don't really think I'm in the wrong here. You couldn't even pay attention for a second to realize that if I was going to go at the Vanoss crew, why wouldn't it have been against Terrorizer or Marcel, the two guys I have the biggest issues with? Um, you did go at Terrorizer a couple months ago publicly, and you kind of were calling out Marcel. You gave an entire folder of his old tweets to Keemstar, and you did call him out in that whole situation. So you kind of did go against them. Did you bring anything personal to the table? Uh, no, not really, but you did with the Delirious and Wildcat, you started having your personal beefs cross over and overshadow the victim stories, but at this point that ain't really uncommon for you. Just because you haven't done it with two of the guys, it doesn't mean you didn't do it to another two. You just look past everything and run with the same rehash narrative that they're pushing. I don't know, whenever a new piece of information comes out, I try to add that to the current narrative that has been going, and if it doesn't work and everything falls apart, that means what I've been saying and thinking isn't working and is wrong, and I have to rethink think the entire thing. But so far, all the pieces of information that come out are lining up that, yes, you do have something against the Vanos crew. Delirious and Marcel did a very bad thing, and I'm sure there's other things that they've done that are bad. But at the same time, you've sat here, acted like a complete child, show that you are completely immature, show that you put your personal beefs over any story that a victim has to tell, you blindly trust the victims and went straight to Keemstar, and was easily guilt-tripped by Keemstar, and then you continue to make a fool of yourself on Twitter. I will be looking at the new details 
details coming out and if it lines up with this then it lines up with what I'm thinking and what I think is actually going on but again if more details comes out and it doesn't line up I will rethink the entire thing and make a video about it but so far it doesn't seem like it's gonna go that way with that said I also will most likely be blocking you on Twitter as your fans continue to harass me every time you post a video and your bias is so incredibly clear yep I'm biased I'm biased for the Vanoss crew Keem has said it multiple times you've said it I'm learning to accept it I am biased for the Vanoss crew they make great content they make me laugh and I freaked the hell out when they joined my stream I would freak the hell out if they commented on this video but just because I like them and just because I have a great time watching their content doesn't mean I'm not allowed to have an opinion so I will continue with my opinion here on my YouTube channel where my voice is literally irrelevant in your entire story but you continue to make me relevant every single time you call me bias because what that is actually saying is that you are so butthurt by what I'm saying in my videos that you have to come to a fanboy and call him bias which is pretty much useless you continue to say your fans have been a notable part of the harassment as they spam my Twitter and YouTube comments saying the quotes you say in your videos I don't control people especially my fans but I've advised them multiple times not to bully harass or send death threats at all and you need to realize this sort of stuff can come to hurt your channel down the road like I said I don't control people I always try to advise not to bully harass or send death threats it needs to be clear that they should not be harassing me or anyone else like I said I do not control people but I've always advised not to bully harass or send death threats and anyone caught doing so will be reported and purged immediately YouTube doesn't let this stuff fly anymore you need to stay on top of it like I said before I do not control people but I've always advised people not to bully harass or send death threats there's always gonna be stupid people on the internet ohm throwing that blame onto me is just low I think you need to find something better to throw at me all right guys so that was just part one of the DM it was a book but I don't want to make this video incredibly long so this week I will be going through the rest of the DMs which I have screenshotted I will also bring up if ohm DMs me further but I'm assuming that he will learn the lesson not to DM me anymore because I literally made an entire tweet saying how I didn't want to be DM'd in the first place and he responded by saying someone sent me your tweet about not wanting to be messaged all good man thought you had an open mind was not trying to bother you I will disconnect from our chats did he disconnect no he did not so again I will make another video talking about the other ones I got two more screenshots of books that he sent me and I will go into a discussion speaking about it thank you guys for watching the video go down in the description below and join my discord if you'd like also make sure to leave a like on this video and I will see you guys all next time peace